Hey everybody, Curseus here, and welcome to Empires and Allies. Now, I made this video because you're new to the game, right? I would hope so. I don't actually, someone suggested I should make this video, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. Now, I don't know how many new players this game gets per month, but if you are new to this game and you would like to have some quick beginner tips to really kind of just help you scale into that late game uh, as best as possible, then I have those tips for you and I can tell you how to do it. So first we're going to go through the quick tutorial battle that they give you. And they're going to be like, oh yeah, just pop this here. And then they want you to just kind of just pop all your troops down. And then they want you to use the Hellfire, destroy that. And then they want you to just, oh wait, that's right, use the, use the flare to target stuff. Consider it gone. Oh yeah. Coordinate block. Oh yeah. And there we go. Enemy base destroyed. Easy peasy, right? So strike force, yep. Awesome. Anyways, this is Lieutenant Ava. She'll explain a lot of basic things to you. So really, you know, read it. And uh, then we're just gonna kind of, I don't know, just put in, put in your name, choose a flag that you like. And then they're just gonna, they're gonna tell you how to do stuff. And so they want you to build the, uh, the guard tower, which you're gonna build everything that's available to you. And it's going to build really quick. Boom. And then you just watch battle here. And of course the AI knows nothing about uh, PvP battles apparently. Because it, it sends... It sends in just uh, commandos against your... Uh, or rangers against your one tower. It's not very smart. Anyways, so anyways, you, they want you to build the troop tarmac. So yeah, we're just gonna go through all that. Like, wow, troop tarmac. And then we just recruit more guys. And then it's gonna give you gold and tell you to use that gold to finish the training. Ranger here. Which by the way, never use your gold to finish up training because really just all you gotta do is just Train something and walk away for five minutes and come back, and they'll be trained. Like the only exception is the CNC vehicle, which takes uh, takes a long time. Anyways, they want you to go to the world map here. The world map has a small exploit which was nerfed, uh, which I'll explain it um, in just a moment here, which is something that as a new player you should be doing. But I think they're gonna force me to three star this map. I'm not sure. Let's go, Ranger. Keep if they don't force me to three star this, then I'll do it on the next one. And it's destroy yeah, okay. Destroy buildings, get command points, use powers. Boom. Okay. And every time you three star a uh, like a player or a mission, you get twenty percent extra resources. But you don't want to three star those missions, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Build additional storage. They want you to build more storage, so you just build it. Wow, amazing! And then he wants you to build the fuel stockpile, which we'll go ahead and build it. Amazing, beautiful. And then they want you to attack more enemy bases. Scout it up. And this one's kind of a. Commencing attack run. This one's kind of forced the three star also, so. Find your mark. We'll just take care of it now. Coordinates locked. 
Boom! And there we go. More resources, thank you very much. Anyways, upgrade the HQ to unlock more powerful stuff. Which you have to do this, they're gonna kinda make you do it. They give you the gold to do it, so it's no big deal. And then they're gonna give you more gold, and this time that's like you're starting, like, welcome gold. So, and then you get missions. Uh, Major Petrov will explain missions. But basically you do specific things they ask you to do, and then you get rewarded for it. So like this, they want you to have three troop tarmacs, train strikers, and deploy three strikers. So we're going to go ahead and just build this troop tarmac. Beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and just train the strikers. Ready for deployment. And then after the strikers are done being trained, we'll, uh, we'll continue here. But uh, let's see. Anyways, about the world map. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to look at a mission like this. And you're going to two-star it. Basically what this means is you're going to destroy 50% of the base plus the enemy HQ. And then after you do that, and make sure you get all of the resources. And after you get all the resources, two-star the base, you come back out to here and you hit change mission. What that'll do is it will recycle this map into a new map that has more resources. Now you can only do this once per hour per mission that's on the map, but you can do this 24 times a day. So if you have two missions on the map, you can reroll both of those, and you don't have to wait an hour to reroll both of them. You just have to hit one, two star it, reroll it, and then hit the other one, two star it, get all the resources, and reroll it. And then you can just go ahead and clear them. So basically, you can do every uh, 24 different missions two times in a row without having to uh, clear the map. So we come back and okay our strikers are trained so also you want to make sure that you have stuff upgrading when you can which I can't. Uh, what about this? Okay we'll do the supply drop and then we'll go ahead and go to the map and we'll go ahead and scout this map and then we'll hit the attack button. Uh, let's see, all the resources are on this side. So we're going to go ahead and deploy everything. Make sure you use your A-10 strike on defensive buildings. Oh, yeah. Going in. He's a goner. Keep and then uh, the... Oh, that's right, I didn't... I was just going to explain how to show you how to do that, specifically. <laughs> victory streak. When you're on a victory streak, you get uh, more resources per battle. And you get a timer, and you got to just, you know, 10% more loot for 15 minutes. So you go here, and you're like, okay, let's do this. So basically, you hit this. And then you hit this. And you're going to leave this over there alone. You're going to do this by using your your rally your your flares to move your guys onto the enemy base. And then you're going to see that they're going to take down the enemy base. After they take down the base, you just retreat. Like, oh no. I have retreated. How come I'm missing oil? Does that really have oil on it? Alright. Anyways, but you get 10% more bonus for the star bonus, at least still. And now that you see that you only uh, two-starred this, you can change mission. This will reset it. And boom. You can't reset this again for an hour, so it's best just to go ahead and uh, attack it and clear it, in my opinion. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Anybody home? Deploy your strikers against enemy troops. They're the strongest against them. Confirmed. Oh yeah. There we go. Keep moving. 
And then just go ahead and clear it. And then you see, I did this mission twice and got two times the resources for doing it. So that's how you do that. Anyways, then you come back here. You see that's been upgraded. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this oil derrick while we go back to the world map. And we'll really quick here, we'll just go ahead and scout this one out. Hit that attack button. And then... Uh, we'll just go ahead and hit that. Weapons up. Find your marks. Oh yeah, find your marks, baby. Alright. Anyways, you go ahead and let them get all the resources. And then we're really quick gonna just move our guys over here. And there you go. And then like I said, then you just retreat. Like, oh my god, I just retreated, you know. And this was uh, an exploit back in the day. Because you were you had no limit on how many times you could do this. And there was no timer to uh to wait for you to do this. So I re-rolled it and I got another one. And then like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and basically they swipe this one. He's a goner. This one's really easy. Go guys, go! And this is something you should do every day as a new player. You know, exploit the world map every day. Anyways, and then you take down the HQ. So you can do 24 missions two times each every day. Anyways, then we'll go back to the map, or back to the base. That's been upgraded. And then we gotta upgrade this guard tower. And we can upgrade this again. I'm just gonna go ahead and pay for the, uh, pay for the stuff here. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this done really fast here now. All right. Don't need that. I'm not an alliance. Huh. Anyway. And then you just upgrade these. I'm, I'm really quick just going to do this. Don't use your gold to do this, by the way. Unlocked an achievement. Achievements are in your thing here. You click them, get, get more gold. But you upgrade your buildings. And as you can see, none of them... Okay, thank you. Yeah, this tells you how you can change your flag and do all that stuff if you want. But as you can see, the supply drops, oil derricks, everything's maxed out. So you have no reason to continue. Well, there's only one last thing to do. First of all, I'll claim this gold. And then we're going to go to the world map here. We're going to get some quick resources. So we'll attack this one. Alright. And actually, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just clear this one. Alright, go guys. Oh, never mind. Let's just go take care of that then. We'll just get all the double resources and, uh. Oop. Run, guys, run! Run from the oil, Derek! It's too scary! Oh no! Man, that oil derrick almost got us. Anyways. 
And then we'll just re-roll it again. Some enemy bases are considered strategic locations ha and have double the uh, resources. But of course, we're going to go ahead and scout this and do it again. Got your mark. We got this. And this time, we're like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and three-star this. Of course, the best way to do this, though, every day is to uh, is to is to not three star every mission and, and clear a location. You really just want to uh, continuously two star them all and hold on to the resources. But I'm impatient, so I don't care. Anyways, take it down. But I would actually, if I wanted to make sure to keep this location, I would make sure it's two-starred and not three-starred still. And that goes for this one here. We're going to go ahead and attack this. And we're going to go ahead and get the uh, get the resources. Quit a rip. And then... Uh... Actually, that was Rock dumb. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Get it. Hit your mark. Returning to LZ. And then, of course, because this location has uh, double the resources, you want to hit it twice. Region secured. Oh yeah. It better. Oh, okay. When you secure the region, it forces it to be secured. That's kind of stupid. Oh, never mind. Okay, it allows it. No. Okay. Uh, battle against other players. Yep. Anyways, I'll say you're just gonna hit get change mission. Boom. And then you can do it again. Beautiful, right? Anyway. And then you're just gonna kind of just hit everything here. Oh, that, those counted. Oh, never mind. Whatever. But anyways, though, uh, eventually, though, uh, these places will respawn, usually. So you don't have to worry about that. But anyways, though, do we have enough to upgrade the HQ? No, we don't. But I'm going to go ahead and use gold for it. Because like I said, now, now that we have everything upgraded, and we have nothing else I think we can build... Oh, that's right, walls. That's right. That's right. Build all your walls. I don't know if you can upgrade them to level 2 or not. I'm going to see. No, you got to be HQ3. Okay. So anyway, so then we go to HQ3. Save up the gold. Save up the the resources to do this. Don't use your gold to do this. So boom, we upgrade HQ three. Ranger squad. Anyways, though, and make sure to retrain your troops because you're gonna need them. And now that you're HQ three, 
you right can build more walls. Ten more walls, to be exact, actually. So, you know, you just build them. And I'm just doing this. Don't repeat this. Okay? That is my, uh... But make sure you have all your walls built. Make sure you upgrade all of these walls to uh, level 2. Make sure you upgrade all your guard towers, which actually, hold on a second. We'll just go ahead and pop out the other guard tower here. And pop out the, uh, the dome defense. There we go. And uh, that's it. So you upgrade this to level 2. Again, don't do as I do. You just use the resources. And then you upgrade this to level 3. You upgrade this to level 3. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Out of gold. But, oh, that's right. You know, you can always, uh, if you need more gold ever, you can cut down the trees. The trees will respawn. But later on, you are going to be using the trees as part of your defense. You'll build your walls and buildings around, to, and you'll get the trees to grow around er, grow around areas that you don't uh, want the enemy to get into. See, so you find gold. Because trees are awesome. Trees are apparently made of gold. Who knew? Right? Anyway. So you upgrade everything, upgrade the tarmac to level 2, you'll get more troops. Up, upgrade everything. And it's like I said, you put these to level 3, upgrade them. Wow, amazing. And, uh, and then after everything is maxed out, this includes your walls. All the walls. Make sure all the walls are level 2. Make sure all the oil derricks are level 2, the supply drops are level 2. Make sure you drop down the Alliance building and every building. Make sure you drop down every building that you can build, including the Alliance reserves and the, uh, where are they? And the rally flags. You drop all that down, you upgrade them to their maximum level, and then you, then after everything is upgraded, you upgrade your HQ to the next level. The reason you do this is so that you will scale better into the next HQ level, meaning that you will have less things to upgrade because you're always going to get new buildings, new defenses, new everything. So you're going to upgrade everything else first so that you have less things to upgrade. Okay? Because all the new buildings, like at level HQ level 4, you get another guard tower, I think, and that guard tower needs to be upgraded three times, whereas this guard tower, which is... Level 3 only needs to be upgraded once. Do you get what I mean? So you want to do that so you scale better and everything's easier and cheaper to upgrade overall. And I do not suggest rushing your HQ to get to maximum HQ just because you have to spend more time upgrading things. You should... And this isn't like Clash of Clans where every upgrade you do takes, you know, seven days. All the upgrade times are pretty reasonable. So anyways, though, that's really kind of my beginner tips. Uh, if there is anything I missed, anything at all, uh, either about the world map or about uh, upgrading buildings, missions, and stuff like that, leave it in the comments down below. Tell me how stupid I am if I missed anything. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.